Hello guys, I am back with another video on the Xiaomi Redmi Note and in this video, I am going to install ROM for this particular video, I am going to use AOSP ROM So let's get started with the installation of AOSP ROM For this, you will need to have TWRP recovery installed So I have already made a video over here, you can click over here and I will give the link of this video in the description below so don't forget to check that out and flash TWRP recovery in order to flash the AOSP ROM Now, we have to reboot into recovery mode for that go into update our app and then select options and hit reboot to recovery mode now we will reboot into recovery mode and that's TWRP for us as you can see over here we have successfully booted into the TWRP recovery now first thing you will have to do is that backup the current ROM so that if anything goes wrong then you can restore that backup using this option now let's go ahead and backup the ROM uh, you can select internal storage, external SD card or USB OTG from these options if you click over here, you can select SD card, internal storage or anything like that. So I will suggest you to backup your current ROM on SD card or the USB OTG for safety purposes. Now hit SD card and hit OK. And you can select whatever all the options if you want but these options are mainly necessary for the ROM. So just simply swipe to backup and it will backup the current ROM. So guys as you can see over here the backup has been completed successfully. Now go ahead and select wipe and select swipe to factory reset this will wipe your data cache and alvic cache so you don't have to separately go and wipe cache and alvic cache again now hit install and select the storage where you have put the zip file for me it's in internal storage and select the zip file and the zip file is named as sign 2485 note aosp.zip select that and simply swipe to confirm flash this will flash the aosp rom on the xiaomi redmi note now even the rom installation has been completed so now simply hit the reboot system button the redmi note will reboot into the aosp rom so as you can see we have successfully booted into the rom that's the aosp rom and every time i flash some rom this type of message comes but unfortunately i can't read chinese so i just press this button expecting it to be a skip button so let's go ahead and change the language first for that go into settings hit the option that says a over here select that and hit over here and now you can select the language you want let's select english united states and now as you can see everything has turned into english i guess yeah everything turned into english except these notifications we'll just swipe them away so we have successfully booted into the rom i have changed the wallpaper and you can see some percentage that's a battery percentage over here if i do this then yeah this is the spaceship it went to China I guess okay so let's go into the app drawer and you will be able to notice that there is gravity box so there must be exposed framework too okay there is no exposed framework but there is gravity box let's try it out if that works okay so as you can see the gravity box is working perfectly fine if I select battery percent text then it's showing battery percent text that's uh, something really nice because gravity box in itself is a very good uh, application if i go into power tweaks display tweaks anything then there will be like if i go into lock screen there are tons of options to choose in the gravity box i can make a separate video on only on the gravity box features so let's not get into it you can tweak around if you want we can enable the master switch if we enable this and reboot the device there will be on screen buttons i guess yeah that's mostly that and if going through the rom there are no issues whatsoever the rom is uh, buttery smooth as you can see everything is working the sim card is also working and there is no problem in detection of the sim card and there is play store already so you don't have to flash the gaps separately so that's a good thing so i'll be using this rom for uh, some time and i'll make a review of this rom so that you will come to know how the rom performs and all and if you don't want some of the chinese apps like these are some of the chinese apps that you don't want then you can uninstall that by uh, using some application on the play store as there is super user and titanium backup already that means the rom is pre-rooted so you can simply do that Viper for Android is also there that's a very nice thing because Viper for Android is something which will boost the audio performance and uh, I am not at all satisfied with the audio quality on the Redmi Note with the MIUI so let's hit the camera and let's see how decent the pictures come out this is 
the picture that I clicked is pretty good there are no issues with the camera as such but the flash problem as you can see uh, as I mentioned in my review also the top surface is always dark even if the flash is enabled and that's something I don't want and as you can see if I do back button the animations are smooth there are no issues with that I'll be playing some games and all everything so don't forget to subscribe to this channel because the review of this ROM will be coming real soon and I'll make more videos on uh, ROMs on the Redmi Note so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I have already made some of the videos on the Redmi Note so I'll give the link of those videos in the description below so don't forget to check them out so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video if you like this video and if you have any suggestions or if you have any doubts then do comment in the comment section below I'll surely reply to them as soon as possible so thank you guys, thank you for watching.